Approximately 100 million sharks are killed a year. Sharks may be dangerous in certain situations, but most of the time, sharks t try to mind their own business. Dive instructor Cheryl Walker has been diving for 18 years and has had her share of shark encounters. Sharks are beautiful creatures. I have been diving for 18 years. I have logged over a thousand dives and I have seen sharks on at least half of my dives and never has a shark bothered me. Sharks are terrified of scuba divers and they literally, the moment you jump in the water, they run away, they, they swim away. Divers like Thomas Bradley actually look forward to seeing sharks in the water. It's a very rare treat for divers to, uh, to get to see a shark and to swim with them. They're, they're very beautiful, graceful, majestic creatures. Thomas also says that sharks are important to the environment. When fish tend to get sick or wounded and they're dying, uh, the sharks come along and they'll tend to eat those so we don't have a lot of dead fish carcasses laying all over the ocean floor. Um, they also help with population control. They tend to get the, the slower, the weaker fish, and they thin those out. So the fish populations are more healthy and uh, they're not overpopulated with uh, weaker or dying fish. Although not frequent, shark attacks do occur. Walker explains what causes these attacks. Uh, typically, sharks are terrified of scuba divers. The bubbles, the tank, it makes them go away. I do realize that um, in shallow water where sharks do feed, people look like or appear that they're, they may be surfing or snorkeling and look like seals or other animals that are flapping around that they, they could attack. So definitely awareness at beaches and be clear of which beaches that sharks um, feed at and to possibly not swim in those areas and go to areas that sharks aren't and not try to cohabitate in the same area. To help protect the shark population, one thing that the general public can do is not buy things like shark teeth or shark fin soup. Seth Hebert, CPSB-TV.